A broken arrow man is working to get the attention of President Trump, the FDA, and a company behind a drug that may slow the progression of ALS. He's using this petition to fight for the right to try the drug now. And legendary Jinx football coach Alan Trimble is joining his fight. It's my Fox 23 investigation. Mike Henson, an avid golfer, tennis player into water sports too, started experiencing leg weakness three years ago. And just one year ago, the Broken Arrow Man was diagnosed with ALS. The first sign I really had was just lack of the ability to climb stairs. It took three years for legendary Jinx high school football coach Alan Tremble to be diagnosed with ALS. And in the three years since then, his symptoms have worsened, causing him to retire. It's getting hard. Isn't it? It's getting pretty tough. Now confined to a motorized wheelchair, needing assistance to catch his breath. Drugs that are currently approved are. Coach Tremble says he'll soon need a feeding tube. There are a lot of people now who are passing away. Our days are numbered. When I told Coach Trimble about Mike Henson's petition on change.org, he was interested in meeting him, so I introduced the two at our Fox 23 studios. Henson is petitioning a California company behind a promising new drug to give him and other ALS patients the right to try it now, instead of waiting years for it to go through the longer-term studies for FDA approval. How important is it for you to try to get this right to try approval? It's everything. I mean, it's life. You know, it's life and death. The drug the drug is called CUATSM, and according to the company Collaborative Medicinal Developments, it's a synthetic molecule that delivers copper to hypoxic tissues. It's already approved for use in PET scans, but not to treat ALS. According to the company, in studies at the University of Oregon and the University of Melbourne in Australia, the drug slowed the progression of ALS in mice. The Aussies also found it slowed the progression of the disease in people. So the drug ended up working, and it slowed the progression in some cases by as much as 70%, which was extremely encouraging. It would be very simple to manufacture manufacturer very cost efficient and we're not asking for it for free. Mm -hmm. We're asking for the right to be able to purchase it. Henson sent the petition with more than 50,000 signatures and an impassioned letter to the company earlier this month. I also reached out to the company. The chief operating officer responded to both of us saying in part quote, our preliminary results are not yet definitive and we are not in a regulatory or practical position to be able to offer CUATSM under right to try. All we can do is to continue dedicating ourselves to moving this drug forward through the clinical trial and regulatory process as quickly and efficiently as we can. One of the things we hear all the time is, well, you know, this drug could be dangerous, right? As opposed to what, ALS? It can't be any bigger risk than having a terminal disease. Uh, ALS, you know, has a better record than I do. It's undefeated, and uh, that's the bottom line. So there's no risk. Both men feel when President Trump signed the right to try legislation in May of 2018, it was for an opportunity like this. President Trump, if you're watching right now, this is it. I would say uh, to the company and to, to the FDA and, and President Trump is this is an opportunity to, to prove that right to try works. We would just be uh, elated to have the opportunity to have a chance to beat this thing. And just today, I received these emails from the Oregon and Australia researchers behind this drug. Both say it shows great promise, but should not be rushed. They yeah. don't want it to go through with no. right to try. But Coach Trimble and Mike Henson say that's the trouble with ALS research. It takes too long compared to how quickly this disease is taking lives. Clearly, they're not giving up. You're not stopping here either. No, we want to make sure this issue and the research gets all the way up to the White House. We will let you know what happens. And to see the petition, the research, and the company's full response, click on the story on fox23.com.